Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today topic is psychometric chart. In this video, we will see what is the psychometric chart? Uses of psychometric chart. And we will see in psychometric chart which line shows which properties of air. So, first, let's see what is a psychometric chart and its uses. So, psychrometric charts are a graphical representation of the various thermodynamic properties of moist air, like dry bulb temperature, wet bulb temperature, dew point, specific humidity, relative humidity, specific enthalpy, and specific volume. Then, the psychrometric chart is normally drawn at the standard atmospheric pressure of 760 mm of mercury of 1.01325 bars. These charts are complex graphs. It can be used to assess the physical and thermodynamic properties of gas vapor mixtures at a constant pressure. It is also very useful for finding out the properties of air and eliminate a lot of calculations. This can be useful in the design of heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems for buildings. So, this is a psychometric chart. In a psychrometric chart, dry bulb temperature is taken as abscissa. That means on the x-axis. And, specific humidity or humidity ratio. That is moisture contents. As ordinate. That means on the y-axis. The saturation curve is drawn by plotting the various saturation points at corresponding dry bulb temperatures. The saturation curve represents 100% relative humidity at various dry bulb temperatures. It also represents the wet bulb and dew point temperatures. There is a slight variation in the charts prepared by different air conditioning manufacturers but basically they are all alike. So we can see in this chart there are so many lines we may be confused and we can get lost while trying to follow the chart and find out which line represents which property. But, there is some procedure or method for reading of psychometric chart. Hence, if we follow this method, then it may be easy for us. So, First, let's see which line shows which property of air. Now, in psychometric chart, there are nine different lines, which is as dry bulb temperature line, wet bulb temperature line, dew point line, specific humidity or humidity ratio line, relative humidity line, saturation curve line, enthalpy line, the specific volume of dry air line, vapor pressure line. Now, let's see this line one by one on psychometric chart. 
So, the first line is Dry Bulb Temperature Lines The dry bulb temperature is simply the temperature of the ambient air that has no water on its surface. In the psychrometric chart, dry bulb temperature is indicated on the x-axis and all vertical lines in the chart represent constant dry temperature lines. The dry bulb temperature vertical lines are drawn with a difference of every 5 degrees Celsius and up to the saturation curve. Generally, the temperature range of these lines on the psychrometric chart is from minus 6 degrees Celsius that is 22 Fahrenheit to 45 degrees Celsius that is 112 Fahrenheit. Then the next line is wet bulb temperature line. So, the wet bulb temperature is simply the temperature of the air which is associated with moisture. It is measured by a normal thermometer. When a normal thermometer is wrapped with a wet cloth, we get wet bulb temperature because the temperature is indicated by a thermometer is affected by the moisture of the air. In the psychrometric chart, the wet bulb temperature lines are inclined straight lines and non-uniformly spaced. In psychometric chart, the values of wet bulb temperatures are generally given along the saturation curve of the chart. Wet bulb temperatures are always lower than dry bulb temperatures and the only time that they will be the same is at saturation. At any point on the saturation curve, the dry bulb and wet bulb temperatures are equal. Now, next line is Dew point temperature lines So, dew point temperature is the temperature at which moisture present in the air starts to condense In psychometric chart the values of dew point temperatures are generally given along the saturation curve that is 100% relative humidity line of the chart. And the dew point temperature lines drawn horizontal. That is parallel to the x axis and non uniformly spaced. In the psychometric chart, these lines are not shown. But while solving the problem, dew point temperature is determined by moving from a state point horizontally to the left along with a constant humidity ratio line up to a saturation curve line at dew point dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature are the same now next line is specific humidity ratio of humidity ratio lines so, humidity ratio or specific humidity is the mass of water present in 1 kg of dry air and is generally expressed in terms of a gram per kilogram of dry air. So, in the psychometric chart, the specific humidity lines are horizontal. That is, parallel to the x-axis up to the saturation curve and are also uniformly spaced. It is expressed in terms of grains of moisture per pound of dry air or grams of moisture per kilogram of dry air. 
Then, the next line is relative humidity lines. So, the relative humidity represents the moisture content of a given atmosphere as a percentage of the saturation humidity at the same temperature. In the psychometric chart, curved lines show the relative humidity lines. These lines are drawn with values such as 10% relative humidity, 20% relative humidity, 30% relative humidity, up to 100% relative humidity. 100% relative humidity line represents the saturation curve. In this chart, we can see that the values of relative humidity lines are given along the lines. Now, the next line is enthalpy or total heat lines. So, Enthalpy is the measure of heat energy in the air due to sensible heat or latent heat. In psychometric chart, the enthalpy or total heat lines are inclined straight lines and uniformly spaced. These lines are parallel to the wet bulb temperature lines and are drawn up to the saturation curve and some of these lines coincide with the wet bulb temperature lines. In psychometric chart, the values of total enthalpy are given on a scale above the saturation curve. Now, the next line is specific volume lines so the cubic feet of the mixture per pound of dry air or cubic meter of the mixture per kilogram of dry air represented in meter cube per kilogram it is the reciprocal of density in psychometric chart the specific volume lines are obliquely inclined straight lines and uniformly spaced. These lines are drawn up to the saturation curve. Now, the next line is vapor pressure lines. So, Vapor pressure is a measure of the tendency of a material to change into the gaseous or vapor state. In psychometric chart, generally the vapor pressure lines are not drawn, but a scale showing vapor pressure in millimeter of mercury is given on the extreme left side of this chart. but the vapor pressure lines are horizontal and uniformly spaced. So, all this about the lines in psychometric chart. Now, let's recall all this line once again. Hence, that's all about psychometric chart. In the next part of this video, we will see example based on psychometric chart. So keep watching. So, if you like my video, please like my video, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel.